Dude, to new season of Vapor. Look, I even have a new hoodie. It's purple. And look at my hearts down there. They're purple too. And my little scrolly thing. And my backpack. Yep, we have backpacks. The season is modded. It's lightly modded, but it is modded. As you can see here, this is some kind of painting thing. Like someone painted this in game. I don't know how it works. Um, because, yeah, I just don't. But look, we got bundles of stuff. We have Farmer's Delight. Um, what else do we have? We have some cart thingamabobs. Here's some Farmer's Delight stuff. We got a stove and the cooking pot. And what looks like a cheesecake or something. Oh yeah, and this beautiful place is spawn. This is where we spawn in. I spawned in all the way on that tree up there. And jumped down, but I caught these ropes. So I didn't die. It slowed me. It was cool. It was awesome. Bacon just got something. That's cool. Um, yeah, we'll discover whatever few mods we do have on here as soon as we discover them playing. But right now, I'll show you this. This is the map. This is Zero's world map. And I have Zero world map or mini map installed as well so we can have the waypoints. And this is our spawn area where we spawn in the world. And if you look, we have all of these people's bases marked out already. Oh yeah, I should probably mention we've been on the server for like five days or so already. I have died a few times. As you can see there, I've died nine times. And yeah, the first day we had a lot of lag. And we upgraded the server on the fly in an emergency. And then we were still experiencing bad lag. And it turns out that there was like a messed up node or something crazy like that. And we had to actually get the hosting company to switch our server to a completely different server and now it works a lot better oh yeah look at the trees behind us we have terra lith world gen this season and yeah let's just get on with it this is my horse this is hercules hercules was a gift from the wind sword if you're familiar with my channel you're familiar with the wind sword um but gave me this horse and he goes zoomies like super fast all right, I'm looking for this portal. Here we go. And one thing about 1.21, which is what we're on, is you can just ride entities through portals now. It is super cool. Oh yeah, we're on the roof of the nether. As I just mentioned, you know, we've been on the server for five days, so we've actually accomplished a lot. And I just started recording now. Oh, while I head over this way, why don't you watch this clip of us coming on the server and then I will show you what's through this portal. Alright, well, welcome! Um, today's uh, <laughs> speech is being brought by Stay. Uh, everyone put it up for Stay. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, thank you. Uh, I, I will rise up to the occasion. Let me let me get on top of a little, little Ooh, high point. I don't see any high up. points. I'll stand right here. Hi everyone! How are we all doing? Hello. Hi. 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 Welcome to Vapor SMP Season 2. I'm so incredibly excited. I hope you guys are too. Welcome to all the viewers from every single perspective, which is amazing. We have a lot more people than we had last season, which is very, very exciting. Um, we have a couple of things uh, that we want to go over just before we can all scatter off into our own directions. <laughs> so... Um, before we do all that, I would like to give the word to Mr. Manity to my left over here. Oh, he will geez. explain all the rules and every little bit that you want to wanna listen to. Uh, yeah, go ahead, Manity. Ah, jeez, I put I took it over to you so, so I don't have to do anything. Yeah, all right. yeah, yep, <laughs> I know, exactly. That's why I came back to you. <laughs> right, we have added some things that is different uh, from this season than last season. Um, mainly just bunch of cool mods uh, and like added, added some extra stuff uh, it is it is all pretty much just vanilla plus uh, as you can see we have a lot of new faces as uh, if you look around uh, so i hope that that uh, we can build something cool so the area where we're all right now this is the spawn point or spawn camp as i like to call it um and this is pretty much just the center of the uh, vapor smp season 2 world 
Um, around this is a big plains area. This will be the community uh, like start area, I guess. Uh, if you want to build something, uh, this is a collaborative project uh, area. So if you want to do that, uh, if you want to build anything, just uh, be sure to build it like around here somewhere. A shopping district and a gaming district is still to be determined where it's actually going to be because we haven't found a good place yet. Well, we have found a great place, but this guy decided to make a base. Uh, well, over I'm there, sorry. So. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> All right, so uh, yeah, we do yeah, have right, to figure man. out a spot for that. Um, besides that, we have added a couple of uh, cool mods uh, that we integrated in this spawn area. So you can see right here, we have the mini head thing back that we had last season. Uh, we also have something called an item placer. So you can place any item pretty much just on the ground or on a wall to like enhance detail just a little bit. I don't know what the bind is for that but yeah i guess you guys will figure it out so we do have a couple of mods if you guys were to follow me like farmer's delight that will bring us some extra things that we can cook uh, and can farm uh also it brings us uh, like some more blocks if you look over at stay we also have carriages that you can pull on a horse Ooh. Whoa. 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 Oh. That's so cool. they can also for the people that are interested uh try Transport animals, um, so that me. will help a little. There's little hand carts, and you can also, they yeah, can also transport, transport your friends. Thank you all for coming uh, to my TED Talk, and I uh, let it go! Go! Mark go! 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 Oh, yeah. Depending on how bad the audio was and how chaotic it was depends on how much of that clip you just saw. But hopefully you saw there was a lot of people. We have a lot of new people on the server and a lot of people returning from last season. I can't name them all right now, but all of the links will be in the description below. So go subscribe to everyone and check out their videos and their streams because they're cool. And if you want to be cool, you'll subscribe to cool people. Okay, cool. Anyways, let's go through the portal. So, this is a village that several of us settled down in to begin the game. And a lot of people have moved out. Me and Dolphin are still here. Um, because Dolphin's going to be built, like, basing in that mountain there. And my starter base is going to be up on that hill there. So we have a lot of our early game infrastructure stuff here. So let's take a look at it all. This is Fern's pets. This is Hercules' home. He can hang out in here. And this is where Hermes lives. And this is where Apollo lives. There's Apollo. Hi, Apollo. Here is a mine. Here is some paths. There's some bamboo. There's some nether wart. I need a lot of nether wart for the starter base. Here's our head collection. Very nice. There's a portrait of me that the wind sword made. Beautiful. Here's our collective chest. We don't have much, but we do have stuff. Here's our smelter. Here's my rack. I needed a lot of nether brick. Here's our cows. Here's a painting the Windsword did. That's Hermes. Here's a painting that Manatee did. Here's a puppy named Finn. Here's a puppy named Furby. And Birdie! Out there is our wheat and potato farm. Here's our sheep. And here's our iron farm. I went ahead and built this temporarily for Dolphin. Dolphin has a monopoly on iron this season. Oh, and their iron got stuck up there. But this is very temporary, and we just wanted to throw one up real quick to have iron. And this will move to our industrial district, which we should go ahead and go check out right now. One thing I should mention is that we are sharing the industrial district with a few people this season. Um, let's see if I can name them. I know the Generic Dolphin, the Wind Sword, Sugar Fern... And Z, I believe, are the people that we're sharing with. So everything in here is 
community for our little group here. And as you can see, people have been busy. Also, look, we have a sleeping bag. How cool is that? But like I was saying, people have been busy. First, like, obviously, here's a breeder. I built this breeder. Here is the original breeder we were using that Z built. And Z uh, started off this little temporary trading hall. And I know Dolphin put a lot of work into it. I think Wynn put some work into it. I put a little bit of work into it. And we have all of the important trades. Eventually we will have them all. Um, I should say that I also have some diamond gear already and a couple of diamond picks. And here's what's in my backpack. I found these bundles exploring. And I have a couple of diamond picks here. And other random stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry for not showing you any of the progression here. It just... It just got away from me. And I forgot to press record. So moving on, we have this tree farm. It's an ENX04 tree farm that Z made. And we have a melon farm here that the Windsword made. I went ahead and put an auto crafter on it right there. Right there. So it's collecting melons for us that we can trade with the villagers over here. So in the idea that we have for this industrial district is that we want to have a long road coming all the way down here. Like 400 blocks that way is still our industrial district on that waypoint out there. And somewhere over in that area just out of render distance is a guardian farm. So we want to have a road that basically goes all the way this direction and all of our farms will be on either side of the road with little roads coming off of it so that we can ride our horses just down the road and we'll probably put a portal on this end and on the end behind me and we'll just have a long strip in this ocean that's lined with farms. And as this comes into view here you can see particles right now. But eventually it'll come into view. There we go. And this is just in Nembom MC General Mob Farm. It's basically the exact same farm that I built in Season 1 that I called the Infinite Loot Machine. Um, but Dolphin built this. And as you can see, we have a good amount of mob drops already. So we're back in the village and if we right up here I want to show you where I'm going to be basing early on and where I'm going to build the starter base. It's basically up this blue biome which is absolutely beautiful. But if we make our way up this hill up here this is my little spot and these are my chest. It's a bunch of random stuff, nothing too exciting, nothing to really write home about. I do have this, Cam, Cam gave me this, but I do have 62 diamonds and two stone diamond ores and a deep slate diamond ore. That's awesome. A little friend in a bucket. And I found this when I was mining up the nether rack. Yeah, I was as shocked as you are. And then over here, I'm just collecting up some resources that I need for the starter base. We are not going to build that starter base. Not today anyways. It's too big. Like, I actually designed in creative a starter base. And it was way, way too massive. Like, it, it's like a floating island with multiple structures on it and stuff. And it's really, really cool. But early game, I, I just can't build it. I don't have the materials for it. So I designed another one. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to put together a simple little building. It's going to be my starter base. And I'll build it within the first week. Well, it's been almost a week. And I still can't build it. Because like I said, it's too big. But I needed to record. I need to record something. I need an episode. I've made so much progress and haven't recorded any of it and that brings us here oh yeah i should probably tell you too like there's our chest there and there's this little tree here with some torches and some scaffolding and if we go all the way to the bottom of this and go down this little water chute here 
we'll come to this structure here and it's super dangerous down here that's all like a frozen deep dark or something it's a biome that uh terra lift added but you can see shriekers down there i have not been down there but i did find this structure up here and it's pretty cool um I can't really show you everything, but there were some barrels with some loot in here. Nothing too, like, crazy. But, I did dig it out, and I made it into a stray spawner. Yeah. A stray spawner. These structures have stray spawners in the middle of them. That's insane, right? It's so cool. So, I made it into a early game XP grinder and I can just sit here with my unenchanted iron sword and get some XP mend my mending tool look at that we're like almost at end game already but without Thanos of course okay I think I've shown you all the things now and I bet you're asking what are we gonna do in this episode and the answer is I have no idea I really don't. I have a lot of grinding to do and a lot of stuff to do to get that starter base going. But I want I want to get you an episode because I care. There's also a lot of things on my mental list that we need to do, like to really flush out our infrastructure and stuff. And I think maybe we should tackle some of that stuff. Let me do some thunking and I... Uh, I'll get right back to you. In the meantime, you can watch Hercules. Okay, I think I figured it out. Over here, back in the industrial district, there's the wind sword in a boat. And I picked out this little spot here and thinking what I'm going to do is build auto carrot and pumpkin farm. I said that wrong. I'm going to do an auto carrot and potato farm. Yeah, that's right. Carrots and potatoes. That way we can easily get some to trade with some farmers to get some emeralds. So I've gathered up a bunch of resources here and I'm going to build this without a schematic. So... This could go very swimmingly or very just dumb. Either way, enjoy the time lapse. wasn't too bad it went pretty smooth and look we got a diamond hoe now and this polar bear decided to join us and be our friend the farms are all done I just need to get villagers in them so I built these little pathways here with rails on them connected to the villager breeder over there and it should be easy we need one villager here one villager here and one villager here I might put two villagers in here just to, you know, make sure that they toss. Sometimes if the villager walks too far over, one of them will miss or like won't throw food to him because he's not close enough. So if I put two in there, it usually always works. So I might do that, but we need a villager in each of these farms right now. So that's what we're going to do first. So let's go down here, and it should be pretty simple. We already have villagers in there, plenty of them. I even actually turned the farm off because we had too many villagers. So all I should have to do is click this dispenser with minecarts in it, pick one up, and he should be on his way. Look at him go! And it should, like, these farm ones are going to be very simple. All we're doing is dropping them in. Let's 
see him fall in right no oh the slabs in the way of course my bad buddy let me just move that out of the way for you drop him in come down here with you put on some hit boxes get him out of the mine cart hoe the dirt plant the carrots and where are you going man become a farmer fall in love with farming oh well well he's in and pretty quickly he should uh, recognize the farm hope you didn't try to attach to any of the jobs over there so now I gotta do is I'm gonna move the rail to go straight right here get them in here break this so we don't make the same mistake as we did last time and that can stay there and then oh there he's a farmer already nice okay now we get the other villager and he should just drop in there he did not drop in there why did you not drop in there are you sitting on the ladder yeah sweet so he's in let's go ahead look at the polar bear climbing the scaffolding that's a silly polar bear all right now he's a farmer too so in this other area it's a little more tricky because we need to get him in this one by one space here and if we break the minecart up here, then they will have a chance to run. So we're going to need to box them in and push them in. But we should be able to do it, right? Yeah. All right, let's hope for the best and send them off. Okay, let's go ahead and block ourselves in here with him. And we'll go ahead and break this minecart. Good, good. And now we just kind of nudge him in. There we go. And that was simple enough. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Okay. There goes nothing. Oh my god. That was even easier. He just walked in. Oh, that's so cool. So now we can clean this stuff up, get rid of all these blocks here, and get rid of these dirt blocks as well. So I got a shovel, I do have a shovel. There we go. Right, you guys happy? So now these guys should be, you know, like that guy's halfway over. These guys should see him and throw them food once their inventory is filled up that could take a little bit so they'll throw them food it won't be able to make it over the fence the minecart will pick it up and they will go in the chest down there like these farms are super simple to build as you saw and really quick so i'm going to clean this mess up and i'm going to let them do their little working and fill up their inventories and once this gets going, we will have tons and tons of carrots and potatoes. And when we come back, hopefully we'll be doing something fun. But I don't know what that will be. So maybe, maybe it'll be fun. We'll see right about now. Someone place signs like labeling things like this is nature. This is flower. This is Stone Kutwu. Time to craft. <laughs> that anvil looked pretty cracked. It does look pretty cracked. Furnace, chest, and other one hidden under. Chest, 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 chest. Like someone came through and just labeled all of my things. And I find it really hilarious. Fence. And there's also this one. It says cleared out area. Because... Yeah, you saw this a little bit earlier. There was a bunch of trees here, a big indention here, and I cleared it out. It's actually been a few days, and I grinded out some resources. And let me tell you, I was not smart when I designed this starter base. 
because I'm using red nether brick. That nether work was hard to get, and I'm using a lot of it. Deep slate, I had to do a lot of that mining. Mangrove, that was a pain. And gray concrete, so I had to kill a whole bunch of squid in the river. And yeah, that wasn't fun. And a lot of deep slate. And the reason I did that is because I actually lied to you. Yeah. I'm a liar. And I apologize. And that's okay. Because what I lied to you about is that I was not going to build my starter base this episode. And guess what? We're going to build the starter base. might have gone a little bit overboard with my starter base but it looks really cool though right oh it's so cool so it's October and I went with a little bit of a spooky vibe like a little haunted mansion or a you know dark manor or something like that I don't know I'm calling it a manor right i don't know if that's the right word for it but it's basically a little mansion a little gothic style with these spires here and the spires on the roof and stuff i i'm so happy with it i think it looks good i think it looks even better at night we went with basically deep slate and gray concrete with a red nether brick roof and let me tell you, these are not the materials you want to use for your first base in Minecraft. The grind is real. But in the end, I think it turned out really well. Oh, we get to see it when it's raining. That's cool. Maybe it'll get dark while we're looking at it. Ooh, spooky. Like dark and raining, it looks really cool. But anyways, let's go take a closer look at it. Oh yeah, I got a black cat. It spawned up here. I need a name for it. Anyways, let's take a closer look. What do you think? It's big. Yep. Let's go ahead and go inside since it's raining. Shut the door. The inside is not completely done. I put up walls and floors and ceilings and stuff and carpets. But the decoration, the decor on the walls and stuff is not completely done. But I went with mangrove. Keep the red um theme going through it and some spruces very nice some rug to hide lighting in here and we have a couple of hallways to go down so first i'll start with this we have that custom art mod that's up here so wind sword painted this beautiful painting right here and i'm thinking since some of the like members on the server are 
creating these beautiful pieces of art that I should go ahead and see if they will give me copies of them and I can hang like beautiful original art on the walls. Since this is a fancy manor, it deserves such treatment. Um, in here I also have this one. This one is so beautiful. I don't know who that is, but they are beautiful. So we have three doors, right? So the middle one is the first one we went in. This one, it goes into this little hallway right here. And I have two of these rooms, on uh, one on this side and one on the other side down this hallway here. And what I'm thinking, there's the other entrance there. And what I'm thinking is one of these will probably be a bedroom and the other one will probably be the kitchen. So we can play with like Farmer's Delight stuff. And so those will come in the future. And then we have these water things going up. But last, we have this hallway back here. We have a wind sword head. What's a base without a wind sword head? Um, so this is just a hallway that leads to the exits on the back which there are two one on each side and originally i was thinking this could be like kind of a sunroom where all the light comes into the windows and we have just nice artwork lined up here so now that i'm thinking of using like people's custom artwork in here i think this would be beautiful it's just a nice hallway to showcase the expensive artwork and it leads to our backyard, which is absolutely nothing. Ooh, it's dark out. Let's see if we can get into free cam and take a look at it. Wait, do, is Gamma on? Oh, I had Gamma on this whole time. My bad. So normally I use like glass uh, for my windows and stuff. And I went with the dark oak. Because I think at night, with the light lighting up, the dark or the regular oak uh, trap doors look really, really good. Oh, out of render distance. So, yeah, this is kind of the vibe that I was going with when I was thinking. We got the rain, we have the darkness, and the manor is just sitting up on the hill looking all ominous and spooky. The children of the village down there probably like tell ghost stories about this place. Uh, perfect for like an October spooky Halloween. So if we go back inside, we go back through our hallways here. I really need to figure out how to turn off all of these waypoints that are just constantly like floating around me. Um, yeah, but we'll do that hopefully by next episode and yeah so we have the hallways and then we have these water columns and we have three floors in this place the second floor is my storage room this is my fart room this is where i'll be spending most of my time i decided to go overboard on the chest here completely overboard there's no way i'm going to fill up all of these chests with items and stuff but i wanted to make sure I had enough storage where I didn't have to worry about it ever. Because I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but my plan for the server is kind of have like one home base. Like this is it. This is where my storage room is. But then instead of building like a giant mega base in like an area or a town or something, I want to build a bunch of different builds all over the server. And then if other players are interested maybe I could build something in their base in their style that fits in and that way I don't get locked in with one black palette or like one style and stuff then I can like experiment and play and do weird things and build unique things like I like to do rather than getting locked in for a year or so just building one style so that's a pretty long explanation for why I have so many chests I guess but but we do. I still got to move stuff in here. There's nothing in here. But, you know, this is where we'll do our little furnaces. You know, eventually we'll have like a good smelter. But that's the start of it. And, you know, we'll probably put stone cutters and stuff like over here. And there's nothing going to be fancy here. 
We even have overflow barrels below and crafting tables throughout. So this room is going to get a ton of use. But if we jump in the water column and go up to the next floor, this is our banquet hall. Still want to put artwork on the wall and some candles and flowers maybe on these tables. But here I figured I could go ahead and hold some feasts, you know, like get a bunch of food, invite some friends over and just have a good evening and hang out. I think it'll be a blast. I would invite you, but you didn't invite me to your last birthday party. So, you know, let's be honest, I, your invitation might get lost in the mail. Of course, you never know. Maybe we'll save you some leftovers or something. And if you want the best chance of that, go ahead and like, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff down below. And there will also be a link to my Discord. Go ahead and join my Discord and come hang out. That's the best place to talk with me, make some suggestions on videos and stuff, and just hang out. So, come hang out. Okay, bye! Okay. This block... Why do you, oh, I was gonna All say. All right, so let's build the, he's on the ground floor, you said? Yeah. So just like around this circle, you have all the, the uh, Is it that shallow right there? I guess. Oh, you picked. I mean, if it's this shallow, it's just actually pretty. Yeah. Just fill this up. Hopefully we got the coordinates right. Oh, that's where he looked, that's exactly where he dug down. Alright, let's break these so he doesn't suffocate. Where's that gas to be here? Okay. Do we have the splash? Yep. You have it. Okay. Here, do you want us to throw one too? Sure. <laughs> Double splash him. Alright. All right. Tell him, Cam, we're ready. Send in the commizzle. He has to restart his game! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Back in the game. Get ready. Okay. Got him. Let's go. <laughs> You're good, right? Hell yeah. Take that just in case. Ooh, I'm dead. Ooh, <laughs> nice, nice. You good? You got food, dude. <gasps> Drink, 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 drink. Oh, I had it from the splash already. You're a jerk. Oh, After thank all goodness. we did for you. That's evil. <laughs> <laughs>